Hi guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I wanted to do a grocery haul, kind of, but also like what I eat, my diet staples, stuff like that. I get a ton of questions about where I grocery shop, how I grocery shop, how I make my list, um, what I eat in a week, do I meal prep, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna go over all of that today and pretty much just show you how I grocery shop and what I get. Grocery shopping, for me, I find it really therapeutic and I really like going grocery shopping. There was like a good two month phase where I Instacarted everything, which is where you get your groceries delivered to you. And I really missed grocery shopping. Like I feel like there's kind of a connection between health and nutrition and grocery shopping. Like you feel more motivated to eat better when you pick out your own produce and vegetables and groceries and stuff like that. I kind of have like a process of what I do before I shop and after, and I'll show you guys that as well. Also, sorry for my voice. This is like the first time that I'm talking all day, so I kind of still have morning voice. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, follow Stride on Instagram, and um, yeah. All right, let's get started. This is how I plan my week because I find that if I don't plan, oh my God, don't even mind how badly I need to get my nails filled. I'm doing that tomorrow. Um, so I find that when I don't have like a plan, I go into the grocery store and buy way too much or way too little. And then I'm like throughout the week, I'm like buying other things so I can actually eat food. So I kind of like to map out meal ideas and stuff that I know I would like. So up here, I just have my um, split. I loosely, loosely track. It's just so that I know that I'm hitting like where I should be and that I'm kind of staying in my range. So don't look at this because it's only relevant to me. Don't do what I do because it's not, we have different bodies. So don't worry about this. This is really just for me. And then down here, it's just my breakfast ideas, my lunches, my snacks, and my dinners. So once I have like what I'm gonna eat this week kind of mapped out, then I make my grocery list based off that. So I have produce, protein, liquids, frozen dairy, and et cetera. And as you guys can see, the produce is the longest because I'm trying to eat whole foods and protein and stuff like that. So I don't really need processed foods because all of this up here, I either have it, like if it's rice, I already have rice. Like everything else is just like pretty much produce. And then down here, I just have like little reminders for myself. So like I wanna make cashew milk cause I have a bunch of extra cashews and I'm gonna need almond milk. So instead of that, I just, I'm gonna milk some cashews. I wanna plan my meals each night so that I can defrost meat cause I have a lot of meat in my freezer. Um, I wanna clean the pantry and the fridge which I'm gonna do before we go grocery shopping which I'll show you in a second. And then I need bananas to freeze for my shake which I'll show you guys in a little bit. So yeah, this is pretty much just how I plan my grocery shopping, if you guys wanna like screenshot it and do it for yourself, you can do that as well. So to prep for the grocery store, I like to clean out my kitchen and just make sure that like whatever is old or whatever isn't gonna go along with like my new meal plan or like my plan of what I'm gonna eat that I throw it away so that I just, I'm not tempted to like eat junk food. So I just eliminate all the junk food, old food, bad food, anything like that. So I just go into pantry, fridge, throw out leftovers that are like old, do dishes real quick. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys what that is. Then we'll make our shake, then we'll go. grocery shop you know the number one rule is to never go hungry so because I'm hungry but because I literally have no food in my house um, coffee is a really good alternative for me because it kind of like curves your appetite and this is how I've been enjoying my coffee I kind of been making it like a shake I'll do this a lot before I teach um, 930 classes in the morning because it kind of holds me over until lunch and it's a good pre-workout obviously because it's coffee so the first thing is I just take cold brew coffee I buy this so this is the Califia Farms cold brew coffee it doesn't matter you can make coffee at night and then just put it in the fridge so I do like a cup and a half of cold brew. Then I take um, almond milk. This is just vanilla unsweetened almond milk and I do like until it turns that color. You can use chocolate protein powder but I don't have any right now so I'm just gonna use two scoops. 
of collagen peptides. And then because I don't have chocolate protein powder, I'm just going to use um, this just unsweetened cocoa powder. This is just the Hershey's. I ran out of cacao powder, but I think it's like the same thing. I don't know if there's really a difference. Dash of cinnamon. This just tastes so good. I throw in like a, I don't know, eyeball, maybe like a tablespoon or so of chia seeds. You can also use flax seeds if you don't have chia seeds. And then I'm going to take about a tablespoon or so of almond milk or sorry, almond butter. You can use almond butter, peanut butter, cashew butter. The final touch is adding in a frozen banana. And then you just blend this until it's smooth. Put in a little tumbler. It's best served over ice. I've done it both ways, like not over ice and over ice, and it's so much better over ice. So then you just pour it in. And there you have it. It's just a really good shake and it keeps you full. Okay, now let's go grocery shop. All right, we're at the farmer's market. Um, I'm super awkward about filming in public, so I'm gonna try my best to get footage, but I'm really awkward about it, so anyway. This is where we're gonna go for produce because it's so much cheaper. Like if I got all my produce here, it's like 20 bucks. And if I got all my produce at Wegmans, it's like 40 or $60. So it's just so much cheaper and it's local produce from here. So I like that a lot. So this is where we get our produce, then we're gonna go to Wegmans. It's looking like a bunch of rats. Four apples. Four apples. Yeah, thank you. Do you have process sprouts? I don't. That's okay. Thank you. So all that that I just got, which I'll show you at my house, was $8.75, so that's awesome. Like at the store, if I were to get four gala apples, it would have been like $3, and I got a lot more. But anyway, the reason that I go to the farmer's market first is because everything that I want, they don't necessarily have because it's not in season, or they just like sold out and stuff. So there's still like Brussels sprouts, spinach, um, and like other things that I need to get at Wegmans produce, but it's much cheaper to get the bulk of my produce here and then go to Wegmans and then get the rest. So we're going to go to Wegmans or Giant or wherever like is around you. I just prefer Wegmans. It's my favorite grocery store. Making my way downtown by the freezers, about to get some breather, and I want to get some egg whites, -na 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 -na. the big car in, yeah. Okay, and this is the haul. So I'll go through each item. Show you guys what I got. Everything that's in like plastic packaging is pretty much from Wegmans. So romaine for salads, broccoli florets. I could have gotten these at the farmer's market, but I'm lazy and I like them already chopped up. Green beans, same thing. Could have gotten them at the farmer's market, but I honestly forgot when I was there. Brussels sprouts, they're out of season there. One red onion, uh, raspberries, four gala apples. I got sweet potato noodles. I love these, um, they are so good. Two red peppers, um, baby spinach for some eggs. I got strawberries, blueberries, bananas. These are to freeze and these obviously are ones like for later on. So freeze those and then over here, I got a bucket of clementines for $2. So that was awesome. So it came with literally so many clementines and I love clementines. Um, shredded hash browns for breakfast. I got chocolate protein powder, then I got egg whites. Uh, this is coconut yogurt. I was looking through all the other yogurts that were dairy free and this one had the lowest fat and lowest carbs and lowest sugar. So I got this one. It's a so delicious coconut milk unsweetened vanilla. Honestly, it doesn't taste the best, but it has the best nutrition. So I was like, whatever. Cold brew coffee. 
And then I got turkey sausage. I wanted chicken sausage, but I couldn't find any. So I got turkey sausage for my eggs. Uh, chicken breast tenderloins and then actual eggs um, if I ever want to like fry an egg for a nourish bowl or a Buddha bowl. So yeah, now I'm going to put everything away and then I guess that'll conclude it. But yeah, this is pretty much what I do. I try and have mostly produce as you guys can see. And then a couple things like meats and frozen things and like yogurts and just like powders and stuff like that, but it's mostly produce and you can save a lot of money if you get it at a farmer's market. And that concludes my grocery haul, dietary staples, stuff like that. Hope you guys found this video interesting. I hope you found it helpful. Um, I hope you learned something new maybe, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.